we're gonna try to fix my fuel issues. And what I have in front of me are three things that I bought off Amazon. This right here is a fuel filter water separator, a fuel pump that we're gonna power from a 12 volt battery, and then marine grade 3 8 fuel line. I'm gonna link all these things in the video description below if you wanna buy them yourself and do one of these tank fuel cleanings yourself. And hopefully at the end of this video, my boat is gonna be fixed and running great. If you've been watching the channel, you know I've had a lot of engine issues and I always thought it was an issue with the engine. I have an Evinrude G2 2020. It's a two stroke and it turns out the engine is fine. It was all bad fuel. So there is water in the fuel, some gunk, and I think I must've just got bad fuel at some point. And a lot of people run into this problem if your boat's been sitting for too long, you buy some boat off Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and it's been sitting for six months, you're gonna wanna clean the fuel before you run it because there's a lot of crap in that fuel and running it through the engine can cause a lot of problems. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna run the fuel, pump it out of the fuel tank, pump it through the water separator and then pump it back into the fuel tank and we're just gonna pump it and cycle it for maybe an hour or two and we're gonna see what we capture inside this. So we're about to run to the boat and we'll set all this up. Also, when you order this on Amazon, it does not come with these inserts, the fuel line inserts. So you're gonna to wanna to order a couple of these, which I'll also link in the description. But uh, yeah, basically your fuel goes in, goes through the filter, water is heavier than fuel. So any water or like gunk or crap, crud, is gonna sit at the bottom of this bowl and then the clean fuel will go back out into your tank again. This right here was only like 30 bucks, I think, and Raycor makes one that looks exactly the same, but it's like 180 or 200 bucks. So this is kind of like a, a cheap ripoff, Amazon ripoff, but I was reading the reviews and apparently it works just as good as the Raycor one, so fingers crossed. Let's go to the boat, hook all this up, and see what we catch. It looks a little ghetto rigged, but I got it set up, and we're gonna turn it on, we'll see what happens. It does feel a little weird having this little electric pump hooked directly to the battery with all this fuel going here, because if there's any sparks here, you know, just... <laughs> but I have a fire extinguisher, and I got a five gallon bucket full of water, just, just in case things go up in flames here. So normally, this fuel line goes directly to the tank and normally what happens is the fuel goes through here into my Raycor water separator and then back out and into the engine. But we're gonna bypass that and the fuel, we're gonna hook directly to the pump and here's the end of that. So it's gonna be, these two are gonna go together so fuel will come out of the tank through this hose the pump's going to be pumping the fuel through the water separator and then back into fuel tank so it'll just be a it'll be the perfect cycle and hopefully as the more fuel that runs through it we're gonna collect any bad stuff in the fuel down here there's this red ring that i think is supposed to float on top of water it's more of an indicator we'll see but uh, let's just hook it up and give it a try. Everything is attached and I'm videotaping this for documentation purposes in case I go up in flames. But the negative of the fuel pump is already on the battery. And here I have the little positive and I'm just gonna use these clips and just clip it on the battery and let's see what happens. Okay, it's working. Fuel is coming into the filter. Oh, okay, I got a leak. All right, pause, I got a leak right here. I'll show you. Right there, I got a, a little bit of a leak going. I've made a bit of a mess detaching all the hoses, but I took out the uh, these inserts, and I knew from the beginning I should have put some Teflon tape on them just like that. Do it right the first time. Don't try to skip a step because then you're just gonna waste a lot of time. So I'm gonna put them back in with the Teflon tape and then we'll run this system again and it shouldn't be dripping this time. Fingers crossed. All right, it's hooked back up. This time we got the Teflon tape. Let's see if we got a nice watertight seal. It smells a little bit like gasoline. So actually, no, I mean, it smells a lot like gasoline, but let's see what happens here. I don't know why I just twitched like that. I thought we were gonna... 
All right. So far, no leaks anywhere. We're good there, we're good there, we're good there, we're good there. Oh yeah. So now we're just gonna see, uh, we're gonna run this for about, let's run it for 30 minutes and we'll see if we collect any junk in that water separator. Cause right now it looks pretty good. It's been five minutes already and she's still running like a charm, no leaks. I believe the proper term for this is polishing your fuel or polishing your tank or cleaning your fuel. I'm not sure what it's called, but you can pay somebody to come out to your house and do this to your fuel tank. And it's usually for a boat like my size, 26 foot boat, 115 gallon tank. You're probably looking at about four, $400 to, for someone to come out and do this. And I spent a little less than $100 for the setup and now I can polish my fuel whenever. I'll probably do it every six months, just to make sure it's running clean, because them two strokes do not like dirty fuel. The four strokes can handle a little bit better, but my engine, if there's even a little bit of water in the water fuel separator in the rate core that I normally have in there, the engine just runs like crap. To me, this is an investment worth it. We'll see if it catches stuff, but hopefully there's gonna be a bunch of water in there afterwards because I know that my fuel in the tank right now isn't that clean, which brings you to the next question. Why is your fuel dirty in your boat? There could be a few reasons. One, your boat sat for a long, long, long time and the, the water and the fuel kind of separated and kind of went bad and diesel fuel, you can grow mold in there. So you wanna, if, if something's been sitting for a long time, clean it. The other reason is bad fuel. If you go to a gas station and you got really bad fuel, it happens sometimes. I think that's what happened to me. And I put a bunch of bad fuel with water and stuff in my tank and I've been suffering ever since. So I'm, I'm trying to get it all out now. And the third reason would be if you have like a crack in your fuel tank, your fuel tank went bad or is really old and there might be a crack where water is getting in or yeah, like junk is getting into the tank and it's just not a bad tank. But uh, whatever the reason is, probably gonna wanna clean that fuel because whatever's in there, you don't really wanna run through your engine because that can cause much more serious problems down the road. It's kind of hard to see, but if you look really close in there, you can already see a bunch of particles and junk that it's been filtering out sitting at the bottom of that water separator. It hasn't got that much water yet. And the last couple fishing trips I went on, the there uh, I wasn't really having engine issues. So I think that I've already kind of gotten most of the water out of my tank. And my fuel looks pretty clean. I've only been running it for about 30 minutes now. I'll probably run it for like an hour or two. Just really make sure that fuel is clean. And I'll show you the setup one more time now that the fuel is running. So this is my hose going to the fuel tank. And I have a connection here, which runs into the pump, which is pulling the fuel out of the fuel tank, pushing it into the water separator. The water gets separated and the fuel gets filtered. And then it gets sucked back up and back into the, oh, into the fuel tank, you can see right there. And that's the loop. Now, if you have really dirty fuel, you can take this one step further. And instead of sucking the fuel out of the tank through the fuel line you can open up your port that goes to your fuel tank and in here i have the fuel sender you can take the fuel sender out and then there's a hole on the top of your fuel tank and you could actually just stick the hose directly into the tank and suck fuel directly out of the tank and that way sometimes you can see where the the water or the gunk is at the bottom of the tank and you can just put the hose right on it and suck it directly out so if you have a really dirty fuel tank that's probably what i would do and instead of re-siphoning it back into the boat, you could just siphon it into a, a bucket or something or somewhere where you can get rid of that fuel because you're not gonna wanna put really bad fuel back into your boat. But yeah, I'm pretty happy. It's running pretty smooth. Pretty proud of myself. I just made a bit of an interesting discovery. So I have my Raycor water filter separator inside of here, right here. And instead of hooking the pump directly to the fuel tank i actually now have the fuel going into that ray core out of that ray core through the the fuel pump into this water fuel separator so right now the fuel is coming from the tank going through this separator through the pump through that separator and back in and guess what the pump is making 
a much louder sound. I can tell it's working much harder to suck fuel. And also the bubbles in here are moving much slower and the fuel is moving much slower. So you know what that tells me? That tells me that this Raycor fuel water separator filter in here, there's a good chance that it's clogged up with stuff and it's very hard to suck fuel through it right now, which would explain why I was having some engine issues. So I'm glad I got this one on here. I'm gonna just keep running this one for a couple hours because it is picking up these little sediment pieces and that's probably the stuff that ended up clogging this Raycor filter. So I should definitely put a new one on there. A little unfortunate because these filters are pretty expensive and you know, if you're putting a new one on every month, well, it's like 80 bucks a filter. <laughs> I guess in the grand scheme of the boating world, 80 bucks a month is nothing. So I'll just keep putting new filters on because clearly they work, they're catching stuff. And if they get a little too clogged up, it will, it will restrict some fuel flow and that will lead to engine issues. So filters, clean fuel and clean filters, very important. Mm -hmm. 